Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Today Blizzard has started to reveal cards from the new miniset Throne of the Tides and these are the upcoming new warrior cards. So we have Clash of the Colossals and a random colossal minion to both players' hands. Yours costs two less. We have Tidal Revenant, 8 mana 5 8 elemental, the battle cry to deal 5 damage and gain 8 armor. Battlecry deal 5 damage, note that that damage can go face. Woohoo, 5 damage to the dome. And then we have Igneous Lava Gorger, 4 mana elemental, 3 5 taunt, Battlecry dredge, gain armor equal to its cost. So Warrior is getting a lot of armor, Warrior is getting a mid game taunt tool, Warrior is getting a minion that can actually deal damage to the face, but it's pretty expensive. And then the Clash of the Colossals. None of these cards obviously seem unplayable. I mean, there's potential in all of this. Clash of the Colossals I'm the least optimistic about, because I just dislike the overall that randomness. Obviously getting Colossal that costs 3 less means that you play this on turn 3, and then maybe you're going to be able to play that Colossal for tempo very early and get a really good effect before the opponent can do theirs, but then you don't actually manage to kill them and they get kick off in and uh, or something. Whatever. Tidal Revenant, okay, can't quite be combined with Bran. Not without discounts. 8 mana, Bran's 3 mana, because dealing 10 to the Dome of Chaos would be pretty sweet. But yeah, I see some potential in that also, getting all that armor. And the Lava Gorger, Dredge Effect, doesn't draw the card, but it does allow you to find a bit of a better draw for your next draw, and also that armor gain. But I think all of these cards have some potential, and I think the Revenant and Lava Culture have potential to actually be in decks. I'm still a little bit skeptical about that randomness in the Colossals. None of these cards are going to create a completely new archetype, where it already has like even multiple control archetypes, but thinking about something like a Charge Warrior, for example. And this is some imagination of what Charge Warrior could look like in Throne of the Tides. I have actually got Mr. Smite. I'm a little uncertain about that, but Mr. Smite performs. Mr. Smite is basically your backup for Galvangar, so that you are not just instantly destroyed if you happen to lose your Galvangar. But what if? What if? We go the more Bran Bronzebeard route, and we go in with double school teachers, and we go in with double title revenants. Revenants can give you armor, revenants can deal damage to the face, summons you from the depths, and you hit either Bran or you hit a revenant, and then you can brand your revenant to deal even more face damage. There's even some obscure from the depths to the front play where you actually brand double revenants for 20 damage to the face, so maybe that's enough of a backup to compensate for losing Mr. Smite. Maybe it's not, but some kind of idea there. So maybe there is some contribution that revenants can give to Charge Warrior. And then there's Contra Warrior. I was really thinking about Contra Warrior. I would like to go the brand route here again. Brand route, also adding Tidal Revenants to this one. Also adding Igneous Lava Cultures to this one, so you can get some Taunt Minions. You can even Bran a Lava Culture, double Dredge, get double armor. There's a few things you can do with those. I was also really trying to think, okay, does this open us an avenue to get rid of Kasekusan? Because there are already some attempts to build Control Warriors without Kasekusan. There's a list with Ambassador failing, and well, those lists are failing. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look too promising. But if I could get rid of Kasakusan, I could also get rid of Amalgam of the Deep. And I don't really love Amalgam of the Deep. On the other hand, Amalgam of the Deep performs better in those Control Warrior decks that run Bran. So giving me more reasons to run Bran, maybe Amalgam of the Deep isn't that bad after all. I was also trying to think, okay, is there a way to fit in Neptune and Tidehunter into this list? Because Neptune could then do some stuff. Maybe replace Kasekusan, but I don't quite dare to do that. But we'll see how it goes. Overall, my plan with both of these decks now, new battle cry effects for Warrior, new ways to make use of Bran. Bran is already used in some of the lists, and Bran is looking pretty good in some of those. And especially when you are able to add more battle cry effects, you get more value out of Bran, and hopefully you will be able to make more competitive lists. So those are my main thoughts about Warrior for Throne of the Tides, and stay tuned for all the other classes. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content, please click the like button, subscribe to my channel, and check out my Twitch channel.